Plants, uh, plants such as watermelon, pumpkin, and squash are all in a group of plants that we call cucurbits. Uh, there, it's a, it's a family of plants that typically has separate male and female flowers. And in order for these plants to set fruit and develop fruit, they have to have have to be pollinated by insects as, such as honeybees and bumblebees and, and some other pollinators too. And that that pollination requires that the insects move uh, from the, what, this is a female flower, so the insects need to go into the female flower where, where they pick up the pollen, from the male flower where they pick up pollen, and then they, then they fly around and they move to a female flower. Uh, and this is, one, this is one of those here, the flower is closed. But this is one of the female flowers, and this one has been pollinated, uh, which means that a, uh, when this flower was still open, one of those insects, uh, and probably several, went into that flower and deposited the pollen to, to enable the pollination to occur. So uh, it's, many times people don't, uh, don't uh, you, when you say the male and female flowers, they're, they're a little confused, but in, in, in all of these, uh, whether it's watermelon or, or squash or pumpkin, uh, it's pretty easy to distinguish the different flowers. The uh, male flowers are typically on a long, narrow stalk, not always this long, but on a, on a narrow stalk like this. Whereas the female flowers, the stalk is shorter that they're on, and, uh, and there's, even before the pollination occurs, the, at the base of the flower, there's a tiny, uh, the fruit, a very tiny version of the fruit is, is there invisible. So, so that, uh, that'll help you understand if your particular crop is setting, it has both male and female flowers. Sometimes what happens is you, you'll have some male flowers, and the, the female flowers are a little slower in, in, in developing, so, so people think, well, I've got flowers out there, but I'm not getting any fruit. It may be that your female flowers just have not started to open yet. So, so that might just be a little pointer that will help you when you're growing your cucurbit crops. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.